PSC is a medical condition called primary sclerosing cholangitis. It is a very rare autoimmune condition of the liver whereby the main bile ducts become inflamed and scarred and this obstructs the drainage of bile from the liver into the intestine. Sometimes PSC involves smaller ducts or ductules within the liver itself and again this obstructs outflow of bile from the liver into the intestine. PSC is thought to be an autoimmune liver disease whereby the body's immune system causes inflammation and damage of the normal cells within the bile duct system. Most people are unaware they have PSC until they develop jaundice, which is a yellow eyes and yellow skin, and they seek medical attention and have investigations and find they have this obstructed bile duct system and will seek a treatment for that. In some people it is found incidentally when they have imaging or scans for some other reason and it's incidentally found they have an obstructed bile duct and that is looked into in more detail with a diagnosis of PSC. PSC is treated depending on whether you have symptoms or not. Some people are symptomatic in that they present with complications of bile obstruction. This is mainly jaundice, where you get yellowness of the eyes and skin. This yellow appearance is reflective of bile duct obstruction and may lead to further complications such as infection of the liver and bile duct. It is important then that drainage of the bile is re-established. This is re-established either through insertion of a catheter through an endoscopic procedure called an ERCP, whereby the doctor cannulates the bile duct and puts in a stent to provide adequate drainage. If the doctor cannot do that, then the radiologist will insert a drain through the skin into the liver, and that is a temporizing procedure. Patients who are asymptomatic and whereby the condition is found incidentally, that is, they were unaware they had PSC, often do not need any significant intervention. We will sometimes use a medication called ursodeoxycholic acid, which is a simple medication that is a bile salt that mimics a natural bile salt we produce that will often provide a limitation of the progression of the condition in patients with PSC. So there are several complications that can occur with PSC. You may develop jaundice and that has to be relieved urgent, urgently by providing drainage of the bile ducts. Sometimes people get a lot of PSC in the small ducts within the liver and this causes a lot of scarring of the liver which we call fibrosis, and that may lead to cirrhosis of the liver. Those people may need to have a liver transplant. Other complications that can occur are tumors and cancers of the liver, in, but within the bile duct system. These tumors are called cholangiocarcinoma and need to be diagnosed sometimes with a liver biopsy, sometimes with a biopsy through an endoscope into the channel of the drainage bile duct and, get, and retrieving some tissue from those areas to make a diagnosis. There are specific treatments for these tumors that include surgery, chemotherapy, and radiotherapy. And again, sometimes those patients ha who have very small tumors are best treated with a liver transplant. Furthermore, there's a very strong association with PSC and a bowel condition called inflammatory bowel disease, mainly ulcerative colitis, but sometimes Crohn's disease. People who have both of these conditions have a high risk of getting cholangiocarcinoma of the bile duct and getting bowel cancer and, and the consequences thereof. So those people need very strict monitoring 
They need to see their, their specialist very frequently for blood tests, scans, and colonoscopies. So early detection becomes paramount. I would encourage you, if you have PSC, to have a positive outlook. You, your medical professional will look after you well, engage well, because you may need interventions such as drainage, Medical treatment is increasingly improving. There are new drugs in clinical trial that will become available in the future, and this would encourage better medical care and a positive view to the future if you have this condition.